Welcome back. Alien 2049655 here. Continuing on episode 3 of season 2. After this, I'm just going to say episode 4, 5, and 6, you know, that type of thing. When I left you, I was in here tweaking my gravity settings so that I could conserve power. I'm showing that it's using 500 kilowatts. That's a little pricey, but we're right we're hovering if you remember, right over a sizable uranium deposit. I don't know how to speak other languages, and I don't know have a translator, guys. So if you guys don't know, can't speak English, I'm sorry. Maybe you can get an English-speaking friend to translate for you. Um, it's the only language I know fluently. I know a few phrases in Spanish and German, but nothing more than that. It appears that my gravity field is not strong enough to force these things down. Don't tell me my ship ran out of gas already. Now, I know there's a lot of waste here, but that's okay. Let's get the fuel refining so we can buy ourselves a little more time. I'm going to go ahead and ramp up the gravity field. Uh, I'm sitting over a nice fuel deposit, and as long as I keep flying up to the bottom connector and dumping my uh, my load into the, uh, yeah, it's almost acting like the, gra uh, the gravity generator is not there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect the rocks or the uranium rocks and drop them in my collector here. Turn the HUD back on, and I am picking up a little bit of this on my inventory because I'm holding down the T key. That helps you um, grab most of it before it has a chance to float away. Now, I will have some floaters. There's no question about that. Until I get my mining ship built with a gravity collector on it, I'm going to be I'm going to be dealing with um, floaters. But I have SE Toolbox to clean out the stragglers, so... I have no clue why these things are flying past the ship. The, uh... I think the devs may have tweaked it. I used to use the onboard gravity generator to help glue these things to the floor so that I could just walk over and pick them up. Oops, I don't think I got that one. Okay, well, let's see. I don't know if the uh, field has been inverted or what. According to this, there is no gravity here. How much you want to bet I forgot to turn the thing on? I did. <laughs> no wonder it's not working. <laughs> Newbie mistake. <laughs> now I don't have to spam my hand uh, my T key. I can just do this. Let it collect in the little divot I carved. And I don't know if you can see it, but here are my rocks. I will attempt to lighten up this picture when I post it on YouTube. Um, camera settings aren't the greatest. I mean, I'm using a cheap little camcorder. For those of you who are looking for more vlog entries, I'm going to tell you guys right now that I'm abandoning the vlog in favor of Let's Plays. Space Engineer is not going to be um, the only Let's Play I do. It's just the one I'm focusing on right now. Um, it's another reason why Season 2 of Space Engineers, or uh, Let's Play Space Engineers, has taken so long to start, because I've been doing some gameplay on other games that I own. Some of them you may be familiar with. Um, I was going to do a Fallout New Vegas Let's Play, 
Oops. Hello. Ah, uh, I forgot to turn the autosave off. I hate autosave. Come on. I don't know if you guys are running into this, but uh, I've been finding problems with been having problems with um, the autosave freezing the game like this. used to save a lot faster. There we go. Now, it turns out it was getting a flood from the window behind me, so now you've got a slightly better picture. You can actually see what I'm picking up now. Okay. On my next video, I'm going to be... I'm going to be logging out of this one, uh, this world, uh, uh, when I'm at the end of this video, and the next one I'm going to be, you're going to see me logging in because I'm going to turn autosave off. I, uh, I hate it. It has screwed me over more than once. I would rather just do a manual quick save rather than deal with the you know, problems that autosave has caused. hoping this would be a multiplayer player let's play and it may become one of those later on um, this is my private survival world this is offline I don't even share this one with my friends so but uh, I do have a, a new server that I play on and uh, I'll just have to let my uh, fellow players know that I am Recording them for YouTube so that they can watch their content. If anything adult content comes up, I will automatically restrict my videos 18 plus so that no one under 18 can view these videos. And parents, please be aware of what your kids are doing. I mean, the best way to bring up a good kid is good parenting. I mean, I was fortunate to have some parents that showed me a little tough love for good reasons and for my own good. But uh, so many kids have so much disrespect for authority these days. I wish they'd bring back spankings. I got my butt paddled when I was bad when I was a kid, and I turned out better for it. So, and then they made it illegal, so my parents couldn't do that. But by then, the training was already pretty much done. Anyway, back to the game. Okay, I have collected a fair amount of uranium here. Oh, there's a few rocks that got away here. These are probably the ones that tried to float away from me before I turned my gravity field back on. And you can hear my, um, I don't know if you can hear my, uh, refinery just plugging away. Turn up my audio because uh, the camera relies on my spe my computer speakers for audio. I do not have the money for fraps. I can't figure out OBS, uh, and um, I figured this was the easiest way to do this. I mean, as if this is what you if you all you got to do to uh, let's play with is a camcorder, then do it with a camcorder. My power levels, I'm down to 29%. It's time to go recharge. Now that I'm pretty sure I've gathered enough fuel to turn everything off back on. So, we'll uh, go back into the pilot seat. Turn on the assembler because I'm going to need that very shortly. Connector. I'm surprised that I was able to access things with that. I'm probably going to leave the door off because I'm probably going to take it out. The door gets in my way too much. And here we are. We're back inside of a fully powered and lit ship. Because I'm looking at my uh, 
fuel counter and it shows I got eight hours. Now sitting idle like this, that, that will last actually a lot longer than eight hours. But the first few episodes you're going to see me t talking about whatnot, mining uranium, because I like to at least have about 50,000 kilograms of fuel. <laughs> That's 50 with a K behind it. Uh, you'll see it. Uh, you may have seen it in your refinery when you get a massive amount of fuel. Now I could use what little fuel I got and convert this into a um, mining ship. So that I could uh, process the fuel and that diagon autosave again again. Well, while I wait for this to catch up, I'll start in the next video.